What? And Terrace trade? Not paying out for two months? I thought this was 100% uh, legit. Hey, Rory Singh here. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time. Please find that big red button. Even if it's your second time or third time, you didn't already subscribe, make sure to do so. And also click on this bell notification icon. And on this channel, what I do are reviews as per request by my viewers. Sometimes I find some good stuff, but more often than not, the stuff that most people ask me to review turn out to be Ponzi schemes. Okay, so a lot of people are borrowing money from credit cards that they don't even have and others are even borrowing more money from mortgage equity okay so you want to make sure that doesn't happen to you because that would suck big time you know paying credit card back is one thing for stuff that you didn't get um but missing out and losing out because of all the years you put into your mortgage and then you'll wow look i found an investment opportunity friend shares you a link and then you get scammed right so you want to make sure that doesn't happen to you okay so Antares Trade CEO, that's what we're talking about here today. Uh, I did a review back last year. This is a picture uh, from Google Images. Looks like behind MLM, one of their images. Um, Alex Richter or Richter? I think it's Alex. I'm just gonna say Alex Richter. Okay. Uh, I did a review on YouTube about this, and I said that. Uh, he was a fake CEO, right? Or fake made up name. Usually they're created by anonymous people overseas. Well, as it turns out, his name is Alexander Zirovkin, a Russian nationalist, claims to be an actor, right? That's the first clue right there. Actor, sportsman, Kaz Samol, member, I don't know if I pronounced that word, I never heard of it before, financier, Philanthropist? Sounds like uh, Iron Man, right? Uh, Tony Stark. Anyways, um, so what I'm seeing, just like I said in my initial review last year on Antares Trade, fake CEO. Yeah, turns out, check, fake CEO. Now, a lot of people are investing into Ponzi schemes looking for the shortcut for their success. A lot of people don't want to pay their dues online and figure you know human nature is always escaping pain and seeking pleasure people are seeing all these ponzi schemes and they're like well we don't have to work now for results if we can just go to a ponzi and join it and they can just give us roi but the problem what are we seeing exit scam and most people what not getting paid right one guy said hasn't paid one guy saying seven days but that was back in july other person says you cannot withdraw any money, that's Ryan, for two months. So I'm thinking the shortcut is not the shortcut. The shortcut is the long cut. So you still got to pay your dues online, guys. Um, or just stay offline and don't invest in Ponzi schemes. On this channel, I do reviews and of course I promote stuff, right? No. No idiot's going to go out there and create content after content if there's not something for you to gain, right? You won't do anything unless it's going to benefit you. But the thing is, no one has to join my deal. This is a review channel that turned into one because all the people that, you know, subscribed and even a lot of people that haven't subscribed yet that still watch the my, my videos, some of them have been doing so for years, right? You keep asking me to review stuff, so turn into a review channel. But I gotta do solid reviews. I can't do cock and bull stories just so affiliates of questionable opportunities can feel warm and fuzzy inside. No, it's it's not gonna happen. If we review a Ponzi scheme, I'm gonna state the red flags, whether you guys like it or not. Whether you're promoting it, looking for the shortcut or not, right? Sometimes the things that you need to hear, you just don't wanna hear them. That is the price, guys, that you're going to have to pay. Let me just mute my phone. I thought this thing was muted. Okay, there we go. So, what am I seeing here with um, this fellow here? Claims that 
in um, a report that he made on YouTube. Where did it go? Message from the founder. Everything I'm sharing here in this review or this update about Antares Trade, I don't promote passive MLM systems. Some people say, hey, Rory, you're just bashing our deal so you can promote your deal. But hey, guys, I'm not promoting a passive MLM. So I'm promoting a training platform. And if people, you know, get tired of exit scam and ready to roll up their sleeves, learn some marketing, you could, they, can come, they can come with me. But if you have the type of mentality that you don't want to do nothing, don't bother. Okay, whatever I'm promoting is not for you. Some people think I want everyone. I don't want to work with everyone. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say here is the information is still valid. You can just take the information on this review channel and you can go. You don't got to join me. You could do whatever the heck you want to do. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Now, Alexander uh, claims that authorities, but he's not saying where they truly are. They have like two shell companies out of russia um supposed to be their his supposed headquarters and uh, apparently he claims that they got raided by authorities and everything was frozen all the assets all their equipment right cock and bull story just so they don't have to pay you why would wouldn't they why would they stop paying people well ponzi schemes if the owners are smart if they're smart they're anonymous and they hire actors so what they see it says Alexander Zerovkin actor. That's the first clue. Actor, right? Hire a paid actor. Give him a script. Let him pretend he's CEO. Let him be the fall guy. And this guy's like, hey man, I got a good gig. I'll just keep doing this because hey, I'm in Russia and nobody could touch me. Americans F you. You can't get me, right? That's that's pretty well what I'm seeing here over and over. And then the network marketers, hey, it's a shortcut. Hey, we don't gotta, you know, we can get people into the deal easier. They didn't want to buy our lotions, potions, and pills in the past. They can just get in with me now, Shh, low hanging fruit. And I make these, I make these reviews, and and who gets mad? It's usually the people that are still not getting results that get piss mad with my my information, because it just, you know, it just catches them in a way that they, it really bothers them right it's it's a horrible thing to say but it, it's what's been happening uh i've got another uh review on hyper fun that's another one that's going to end in exit scam and you should see the amount of people because cupid life exit scam brax exit scam wiseling exit scam ai marketing exit scammed right they stopped paying out uh a ton of stuff Stop cash effects running into problem. Where are the network marketers, you know, taking their victims to? A lot of them are, are taking them to Hyperfund. I've got one video on Hyperfund. Oh man, you gotta see. I'm gonna take you guys there for fun in just a moment. But, anyways, this guy here came out with a cock and bull story, and it's the big clue. It says actor, right? He's an actor, and he said, um, fake, fake authorities, um, raided our fake headquarters and froze our fake assets and our fake equipment and that's why we can't pay you guys but 60 days to get this problem sorted but apparently um you guys are not buying it why could we still log in hours after police raid hey that's a good question because if they froze everything how come they could still log in Hours because it's a cock and bull story. And don't you think it's weird that this happened on the exact day? Well, it's not weird. It's a cock and bull story. Um, I'm just going to read the English comments. I don't want to go and translate all this stuff. Other person says, I sold my house to invest with them. Now all that money is gone. Did he, did he, is he like Looney Tunes or something? Look at that. His channel is called My Nightmare World. Maybe he didn't like his house. I don't know. Finally, this happens. Let's wait the six, to the 16th. See, it's just, <laughs> just a scam. Why would you wait if you know it's a scam? Why are people investing in scams if they know it's a Ponzi? Let's just give her money away. We don't need it. Maybe they don't need it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. 
Um, well, thank you for this. We will wait again 72 hours. Are you not worried about backlash? No, he, he's not worried because um, he's an actor and he's getting paid pretty well. You guys aren't getting paid, but the actor, Alexander, is getting paid, okay? Everything depends now on how you handle this and how transparent you are. He's not going to be transparent. Cock and bull story again coming up. Do you think maybe some people actually believe that they're not a Ponzi scheme? These type of investment scams are not Ponzi's? Are there people that, that don't know? Nah. I think most people know. Even unconsciously. Everything... Well, you can't escape the grind, guys, and promote Ponzi's or just as a passive investor. You just, it seems more painful. Guy sold his house and then lost that money. Other person says, thank you, you are the best. He's referring to this guy. I don't know. You know, uh, in, in Canada here, the government's actually acknowledging chemtrails. Canadian government's saying, yeah. They're telling the public. I used to ask people, I said, do you guys see the chemtrail pilots flying in the sky? And what the hell are they? And they're like, what What planes? People would be like at the gas, what are you talking about? I went, when I was a truck driver and had a job, um, I was delivering to a place near a university here in the greater Toronto area, in Ontario, Canada. And I saw a trucker outside. I was just screwing with him. I said, hey, you see the chemtrail? Uh, you see that? What, what is that plane up there? And I, he says, he says, it's a chemtrail pilot. I'm like, you know this? He says, yeah. He says, but look, they're flying over um, the University of Toronto, and that's where all the academics are, and they're not seeing it. I says, well, I, I'm glad that you, Mr. Trucker, are actually seeing that, because most people I talk about, and now the government's saying, yeah, it's true. We Now everyone's going to say, yeah, we could see them. I mean, you can trail pilot. You see zigzags in the sky. In Canadian airspace, like back in the 70s when I was a child, the sky was like blue, right? When there's no clouds and it was just beautiful. But in the morning now, these chemtrail pilots, they fly out, zigzag, all kind of different directions. It's not the flight plan. No, unless he's like a kamikaze pilot. And then who knows what they're unleashing to the people. But look, people are selling their houses and, and they don't seem angry. Oh, we lost our money. Oh, no biggie. We'll just uh, take it as a lesson. What the hell are they putting in the chemtrails, uh, guys? This guy says scammers, and at the same time, they create problems or want to pretend they are strong, like unique AI marketing. AI marketing is another one. Um, people are saying it's in Russia. I did a review on it, and um, they collapsed, and now they came out with a clone website, and they're going to scam people all over again. They got a lot of, a lot of guys from um, Nigeria promoting it, and even India. Uh, this one says, AI trade is fake business. Don't lie anymore to people. Big stealer. Is he shocked? But there was one comment that just stood out to me. Um, let's close off with this guy here. Okay, thanks, you are the best. <laughs> oh, man. What's going on, guys? What's going on, baby? What's going on? One, I just, there's just a comment that got my attention. Um, English comment, scammer, same time. Uh, okay. This is fake business. Hello, I was blocked by Russian group. They, and then my account was restored, but I could not withdraw. Technical support found various reasons for the problem and now it became clear they wanted to attract more capital in order to get more profit from them. Hey, you know what? They're gonna. People are just going to give them their money. And we, Russian group, warned you that they would do the same to you. They did not listen to us, which is a pity. They're not going to listen. I'm thinking everyone should just not join Ponzi schemes then you wouldn't have to be given those messages. I could just review positive stuff. I make more money with um, in traffic with positive reviews. 
I did one on um, Jonathan Montoya's breakthrough, I forgot the name of the system, like two days ago. And I'm not promoting that. And I said, yeah, I recommend it. It's got a good price, uh, good education. And uh, with all the reviews that I did, the positive ones always give me more benefit, right? Um, but as I said, people can join me if they want. But I don't want everyone. There's some people who just want to fold their arms and not do anything. You guys are better giving your money to, to this guy. Because at least maybe you'll get some excitement before the exit scam. The exact same thing, Alex Richter is actually Alex. Is he got a different name now? He's got like different names here. I can't even pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. It's a different spelling of that one right here. Uh, you guys know. I don't know why like people are getting pissed off. Um, born in January 30, 1983 in Moscow, already convicted of a fraud case in Russia and living in Dominican. Is he living in Dominican Republic? Is this guy drinking out of coconuts on the beaches of the world off the backs of victim investors and network marketer promoters? Sir, first you uploaded every documents regarding all verification. You know, one guy, I don't even care about that. One guy says, where did his comment go? Did he delete it? One guy says, hey, can you just please tell us it's a scam and I'll just make peace with it and go on. Where is that comment? We'll close off with that one comment if I could find it because it's just crazy. I'm thinking that the guy that said that. Some people are going to wait 72 hours to see what's going to happen. Let's wait to see if it's a scam. You guys know it's a scam already. I don't know why you got to wait for that. <clears throat> Anyways, no problem. Guy says, he says, um, he's made peace that he's lost money with Antares Trade. But he would just like uh, that if the fake CEO, the actor, he says actor, would, would you know, cough up and tell the truth. Hey, we're an exit scam. We uh, scammed you. And we were an exit scam. And we're going to go completely offline. And just so this other fellow could make peace with it and go on and have closure. But the thing is, most people who say stuff like that are going to go looking for the next Ponzi to give their money to. Do you guys not like your money?